So I want to show you how I save time when I create new content for my websites. And the first thing I usually do is that I check my focus keyword and then I'm checking what are my competitors are doing, how is the um, article built. So yeah, it's not an article, but let's say this one. And then usually I go um, take the content, do an n-gram analysis, check which type of keywords are they trying to rank for. And then I do it for mobile devices as well as for desktop so that I have like all the top performing articles based on the device. And then I also check the frequently asked questions. So for instance, what are other queries that are users typing into Google if they are looking for something similar? And this also what this automation is doing. So this is like an automated deserve analysis and it's quite simple. So we start with a simple form so I can also demo it quickly. You have to enter your focus keyword, let's say chat GBT alternatives, followed by the county where you want to rank for, let's say Germany, and then click on submit. And then we start fetching the ZERP results by using ZERP API. And then we fetch all the top articles for all the content by using Qualifier I. And finally, we use like a simple LLM model. In this case, it's just like a GBT for Omni Mini in order to analyze the content. And then we write it into a Google Sheet so here we do the analysis of our competitors. And the next thing which will be executed is that we will fetch the FAQs. So now the automation is done. And if we have a look into our Google Sheets, then we can see we have an analysis of the ZERP results. So here we have the title, the link to the articles which are performing the best. We have a snippet, a short summary, the potential focus keywords. So here it's definitely writes that these articles are trying to rank for the keyword ChatGPT alternatives. And which is also quite important, if you want to write an article, you have to use also keywords, which are on the topic of this focus keyword. And usually you find it out by doing an n-gram analysis. So here we can see which type of keywords are used a lot in the article. So the combination of all of them will give you like a good idea on which keywords do you want to use in your article as well. And of course, we have also the frequently asked questions. So here we called four questions and you can also see if there's a snippet or like an article that is used to answer this question, then you have the link as well. And now you can take this data and write an article and then you don't have to do all the things manually. So before we dive into the automation and how it works, it's completely for free. So you can download the template here. I also have other templates so you don't have to rebuild it by watching the video. I also put the link into the description and now we will check how the automation works. So we do have a simple form just with two fields which are used as query parameters for the ZERP API. So we have like the focus keyword that is the text which we are looking for in Google and we have a country. So if you want to add more countries you can simply add here an option. You have to check for the country key which is two letters but you will definitely find it in Google. And then we do two requests one for mobile and one for desktop. And then we extract the FAQs. So for instance, here we have the query for ChatGPT alternatives. We are using the engine Google and the device is mobile. And then we use a manual mapping to only get the frequently asked questions. We do the same for the desktop and we also fetch the top results from Google. I decided to just take for each the top three, you can simply adjust it. If you go to the limit node and if you want to analyze more data, then you can also set it here to five, 10 or even more. But just keep in mind, all the data will be passed to an LLM and it will also cost you tokens. So keep in mind that if you set it to a high number, it might be cost intensive. Then we prepare the ZAP results for the crawling. Um, I am using crawl for your eye to fetch the article and finally passing it to an LLM. So what we do here is we merge the data so that we have the top performing articles for mobile desktop in one list. Then we set here a limit to five. We can also remove the limit, but I always like to work with limits in order to save some credits when I'm using an external API or also some tokens. Then we remove duplicates because it's possible that the person who was ranking for desktop is also ranking for mobile. So we don't have to scrape it twice. And then comes the part where we crawl the content. So we have to crawl every article and do the same process over and over until the list is empty. So what happens here is we take the link to the article, then we pass it to crawl for AI, which will return a task ID. Then we have to wait a few seconds because the task might take some time. 
So we check for the status. And if the status is completed, which we check here in the if condition, then we will get the metadata, which we will use for analyzing the content. If it's not completed, then we will loop until it's completed. For the metadata, I decided to take the title, description, the link, as well as the cleaned HTML. And then we get the content as a markdown because I made the experience that if I pass markdown to the LLM, it performs a little bit better. And here we have a simple chat model. I decided to use the GBT4 Omni Mini model because it's quite cheap and it does the job, but of course you can also replace it. And then we have a system prompt. So it's just a description that you're like an SEO specialist and your task is to analyze the tickle and also um, create an n-gram analysis, which we have here. So we take the content and say, hey, we need a short summary, a potential focus keyword, also relevant long take keywords, as well as the n-gram analysis. And then we use this data and write it to the Google Sheet. The other workflow we have for the FAQs is quite similar. So we merge the FAQs, then we get the questions. And if a question is asked for mobile and also desktop, then we remove it and then we loop over every question and insert it into the Google Sheet. Now you might ask yourself, is it expensive? And it depends. So for instance, this one was just one cent for the tokens because we used the really cheap model GBT for Omni Mini. And the good thing is that if we have a look into the API, you can use it for free. So you have like 100 searches per month. The other plans are, in my opinion, quite expensive. But if you don't use it a lot, then it's definitely a good idea to use this API because 100 searches is definitely a good thing because you don't pay anything for it. And of course, keep in mind that if you set here like top five, top 10 or even more, then the list will be bigger, which means that this part where we also like have to pay for the tokens will consume more tokens, which will also increase the cost for this automation. As already mentioned, for this automation, you will need a Zerp API account as well as an OpenAI account. Otherwise, you can also use a local model if your computer is good enough. And you need one Google spreadsheet with two sheets, so one for the FAQs and one for the ZERP analysis. I also added here boxes and you will also find them in the template. So for the FAQs, you need a column question title link. And for the ZERP analysis, you need a spreadsheet with this column. So quite easy, just copy them, paste them into the Google Sheet and you're good to go. In case you're interested in our automations, I will upload more videos in the future. So feel free to download this automation from my GitHub profile. You can also take the other ones. I will put links into the description where I have a Reddit post and I explain in detail how the automation works. And in case you have any questions, feel free to write it in the comments and then see you in the next video.